what's up YouTube PJ back with another video for you guys and today I'm gonna be doing something with the Cobra that I have been putting off for a long time now as you can see I have the car jacked up and I need to take the exhaust off and the control arms because we're gonna be doing bushings today yeah the uh, exhaust tips you can tell where I can clean them and where I can't but yeah, that's pretty much gonna end because I'm gonna reset them and while I have the exhaust off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the tips. But as far as these bushings, well, you can't see the bushings right now. But for everybody that's been subscribed to the channel, thank you for subscribing. And if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like the video if you can, because that helps the video out so much. And I'll be able to do what? What? Now, what was I saying before she rudely interrupted me? And I have my buddy Mikey over here to help me with the video. Well, not the video, but the install. And yeah, we're about to go ahead and get started with that. And so the first things we need to do is get the wheels off of here, and then we can go ahead and start disassembling everything. So now that I've got the ends of my exhaust off, as you can see, um, now it's time for me to go ahead and try to remove these drive shaft bolts. And I'm using the 12 millimeter 12 point head or socket, should I say? And I'm gonna try to remove all four of these right now. Mike is over there getting the brakes and everything disassembled so we can go ahead and try to drop the whole rear end out because we can't get to the top control arms without dropping the whole thing. One thing to be sure of is to try to put your car in gear whenever you're breaking these drive shaft bolts so it won't move and then you're just gonna have to keep putting it in neutral, put it in gear, switching them out whenever you are just trying to break the bolts and loosen them. Cause you're gonna, you're gonna wanna spin it whenever you're changing bolts. Remember it's rusted though. I should just take this one all the way out. Now. Yeah, man. Alright, so at this point, we just about have everything undone under the car, and I just have this one last bolt to undo, and then we should be able to lower the whole rear end out. Hopefully it works like that, but we're about to find out now. Let's see what we got. Now you might have to kind of keep it sturdy while I lower it. Keep what sturdy? The up from? I don't know how you expect me to keep it sturdy. Did you see anything caught anywhere? Alright. Hold on. Let me get this spray off here. You want me to get them out the other side? I'll get it. You might be able to just ease it down and pull it. Come on, Anything in the way for you to pull it straight out? Uh, this axle on your side and uh, the exhaust. Finally got it from under the car and it's all rusted and it looks like it's in bad shape. But I'm gonna have to deal with that another day because right now we, we have a big job with these bushings to do. I'm doing the control arm bushings and I'm doing the 
two front and one rear diff bushing. And I'm also gonna put a diff brace over here so that'll stiffen up this whole rear end just a little bit, don't you think? Day two. All right, so we're here for day two of this vlog. Man, and don't, don't, get well, that, start, don't get all that oil in there. <laughs> <laughs> Why <don't>, not? <laughs> you don't want all that oil in there. Why? What uh, the process, huh? Oh, you want to clean it up right now? I, I guess. Well, I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> we are for day two of this vlog, and right now we have all the bushings in, the upper control on. We don't have the lower control on bushings in yet, just because I feel like it'll be easier once the rear end is back in the car. But we also did the diff brace that I've been telling you guys I have for who knows how long now. And that was a pain to install, but I'm just glad I got it all installed. We're about to go ahead and throw it back in the car because I feel like it'll be easier to change out the lower control arm bushings once it's in the car. I'll get back with you whenever I finish that. Day three. All right, you guys, so I'm back with day three of this vlog. This has to be probably the longest drawn out vlog that I've ever done, but the car is actually put back together now and i need to be going and get an alignment soon uh let's see if you guys can see y'all probably can't see from this angle but uh this tire is kind of cambered in a little bit more than my liking and this one is i don't know i think this one may be pretty nice you probably can't see that on this camera but I don't have any diff fluid in the car and I also don't have any brake fluid in the car because it all drained out whenever I was doing the rear end of course speaking of I need to clean out this garage for my mom you know gets on me badly about it I think it'll be safe if I started the car up and backed it up and moved it back over here into the garage so I could actually put my new brake fluid in bleed the brakes and put my diff fluid in so let me go ahead and do that i've already started it up and got it to right here that's how it got over here so i should be okay with it So I have the car back in the air and I believe I have to bleed all four corners of the car, the brakes, um, just because my whole brake reservoir went dry. So I'm just going to bleed all four corners, the fronts and the backs. It's pretty simple to bleed brakes. You literally, if you have another person, I have Kiera over here. She's going to pump the brakes for me. But you're going to just undo this little rubber piece right here like this. It's just a little rubber piece that you un take off of here and you have to get a wrench. I believe it's like a half inch wrench and break this, not break it, but you know, break it loose and then tighten it just a little bit so it'll be closed off. And once Kiera's in the car, she's going to pump the brakes until they get hard and then she's going to hold them. And whenever she's holding them, I'm going to loosen it up. Fluid and air should fly out of here. And then I tighten it up before she lets go of the brakes. And I believe that's how you bleed brake fluid. At least that's what I've come across. And I think that's how I learned how to do it. But I'm going to do that and then I'll get back with you. Uh. So midway through bleeding my brakes, Kiera ended up having to leave for work. She said she forgot about it. I forgot about it because she did tell me yesterday that she had to work today. Uh, seems like nothing is going right this whole video. But y'all probably can't see under there because there isn't any light. But I just took off the nut that's supposed to be the drain plug for the diff fluid. And it's supposed to be magnetic right here. I cleaned it off. It did have a little metal shavings on it but i cleaned it off i don't think it was anything too serious but now i'm about to just go ahead and put the diff fluid back in the car i'll probably just get a shot of that and then i'll get back with you guys after i do that and the exhaust as you can see this exhaust pipe had to come back off just because i couldn't reach the plug that would let me release the fluid even though there isn't any fluid in there but this is just for anybody who is planning on doing this to their car so uh just a heads up the exhaust may have to come off
Man, I can't believe I just went through that whole process. That had to be a learning experience. I mean, between me dropping the whole rear subframe in the Cobra, that's something that I did, I never would have thought I can do. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about the progress that I've made on this channel and just me of learning about cars and stuff because uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. But as of now, I need to be cleaning up this car push and trying to pressure wash all of this and just get it clean because uh you know you got to clean up after you mess up and that's just all to it but i think i'm going to end this video right here if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up i'm sorry once again that i have it going all over the place like i'm rambling like right now go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and i'm just gonna have to catch you in the next video but always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more and i thank y'all for watching